Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's episode we're going to analyze the Bitcoin price as usual but also going to have a look on the DXY and also the CMEs since today they are trading again. But before we start with the content I have a big announcement to make. Today is my birthday. So if you want to make me a nice present then please moon up this thumbs button down below here in the video. Also subscribe to the channel and leave me any kind of comment you want. Very much appreciated my friends. So let's start straight here into the content because Bitcoin currently is testing here this 200 moving average in the one hour time frame. As you can see after this weekend action that we had currently we have a drop here and we are testing here a very important level here this $10,800. If we're gonna lose $10,800 and be prepared to have a retest of $10,500 because this was the next important support that we had here on the Bitcoin price. But as I told you my friends, if we're getting rejected here at this $11,200 area, then most likely we're coming down again towards 10K to test this level again and maybe even go lower to test the 200 daily moving average and also to close the CME gap that we still have at $9,600. So here in the one hour you can see that currently we're trading below the 50 and 20 moving average and from this potential rising wedge it looks like that here we're breaking out to the downside also RSI is coming down very close to oversold condition but if we have a look into the CME you can see that here we didn't have any kind of breakout so far from this consolidation wedge because here we didn't trade on the weekend. So this price action that we have seen yesterday and on Saturday was only during the weekend when the CMEs are not trading. So the CME started again and we didn't even create a new future gap. We came down to $10,900 where we closed the CMEs on Friday and currently we're seeing a possible breakout here to the downside. So this is quite bearish and here on the CME chart I'm watching also here for the 200 moving average at 10,625 because this is where I think we're going to have a complete retracement and a retest of this 10,600 to 10,500 dollar before maybe we bounce from it or we continue to trade lower. And if we go over into the Bollinger Band in the one hour time frame here you can see that currently we are touching the bottom here $10,800 and that's why it is, is a very important price level where we should see a big bounce from it otherwise we will see continuation to the downside. Stochastic shifted to the downside, MACD is going to have a bearish cross soon, only the KST is still shifted to the upside. So here as long as we are testing this $10,800 I think we will most likely drop lower but if here we're going to have a big bounce to the upside and possibly also retest 11k there maybe we're going to have a breakout to the upside but currently here in the one hour it looks like that we could see some continuation to the downside even though we are bouncing from an important level so we still have hope that we could retest this 11k and if we go over to the dxy you can see that here we have exactly the opposite currently the dxy is having a big push to the upside from this 93 dollars level and currently we are again coming up here towards the resistance which is at 93.50 so here on the dxy we still have some room left to the upside even though we are getting here in the RSI into overbought condition. So that could be also a possible cool off here and a possible bounce on the Bitcoin price as well. And now let's go over to the four hour time frame in the Bitcoin price because here you can see clearly that we are closing four hour candles now below the 20 moving average and also we didn't manage to go above the 200 moving average so far. So we broke out to the upside but we didn't confirm this new support. So currently we are again getting rejected here from the 200 moving average and currently it's exactly at $11,000. So even if we see a push towards $11,000 it will be important that we're gonna close a four hour candle above this price level and if we come down like we did over here also confirm it as a support and then bounce again from it. And so far we are testing the 50 moving average and if this one is getting broken then I think most likely we will have a complete retracement at least down towards $10,500 to $10,000. And if we go over to the DXY here you can see that we are just starting to trade above the 50 level so here we have a lot of room left to the upside and if this 4 hour candle is closing above all the moving averages here and maybe also comes down to confirm the new support here at the $93 level. I think we will see continuation here to the upside on the DXY and therefore also a big drop in the stock market and also in the Bitcoin price.
the stock market in the US is not opened yet but will open up very soon and I think then we will see a big move also in the Bitcoin price and the futures on the Nasdaq and the S&P 500 currently are also dropping and that's why I'm expecting also in the Bitcoin price some continuation to the downside so most likely Bitcoin will also follow the stock market and it's gonna open up soon and that's why if you're in a trade make sure that you have already a stop loss in there and ready for the next big move and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band here in the four hour time frame, you can see that currently we are trading in the lower part and the bottom is here at $10,800. So that's why I'm telling you guys, if we're gonna overshooting it to the downside from $10,800, then we will see a big move towards $10,500 to $10,000. Most likely we're gonna have a bounce at 10 5 10, 6 before maybe we continue to drop lower especially if the DXY continues to pump and the stock market continues to crash and here you see that the stochastic is still in oversold condition so here we could see a possible bounce to the upside but since the MACD and KSD are still shifted to the downside I'm expecting some continuation to the downside and that's why I still have my short open that I opened up the last week and i'm still pretty convinced that we will come down again to test 10,500 or 10k maybe even go down to close the cme gap and test also the 200 daily moving average and therefore let's switch over into the daily time frame because here you can see that currently we are testing the 20 daily moving average again so far we didn't manage to break above the 50 daily here at 11,200 dollar and that's why we could potential drop down from here and if we're gonna lose this 20 daily moving average support at 10,800 the dollar then my targets are again this region that we had over here before we had this nice bounce to the upside towards our target of eleven thousand two hundred dollar and most likely we're gonna see continuation down to the 200 daily moving average here at exactly nine thousand two hundred dollar and if we drop down to this level and confirm that the 200 daily is our support then most likely we're also gonna close the cme gap and could have a big bounce from it and continue our confirmed bull run that we had since we broke out from this important resistance here at ten thousand dollar and if we zoom out here in the daily you can see that the 200 daily moving average in is in a very important fib level if we have a fibonacci retracement down from the bottom that we had in march up to the top here at twelve thousand five hundred dollar you can see that the 200 daily moving average is lining up perfectly at the 0.382 fib line at nine thousand two hundred dollar and this is not only our previous resistance which now is support and also where the 200 daily moving average is lining up but this is also the fibonacci retrace where usually bitcoins bottom out during an uptrend so when we go up usually bitcoin always retraces back down to at least this fib level before we continue to the upside and in the worst case if we're not bouncing from this important fib level then maybe we even have a drop towards the 0.618 fib line at 7200 that is also still in the cards but if we have a drop towards the 0.382 fib line this is where i'm expecting an initial bounce to the upside and i don't think that we will come ever lower than that again but if so then 7200 here at the 0.618 fib line i think this would be the clear bottom for bitcoin if we're really gonna have maybe a similar dump like we had also in march i don't think this will happen but if so then watch out for this price level and i have all my buy orders here between nine thousand two hundred dollar and seven thousand two hundred dollar to rebuy back cheap into bitcoin if we really have this major drop but the most of it i'm gonna definitely buy here at nine thousand two hundred dollar because this is where i think we're probably gonna bottom out if nothing special is going on also in the stock market that could take bitcoin again towards seven thousand two hundred dollar and we can also have a look in the bollinger band in the daily because here currently we are still trading on the upper area which is very bullish and also currently we are testing here this moving average if we're gonna lose ten thousand eight hundred dollar then be prepared to test here the middle line at ten thousand five hundred ninety and that's why i'm telling you most likely we're gonna have a retest of ten thousand six hundred to ten thousand five hundred dollar and there we're gonna see if we have continuation to the downside towards 10k again or not MACD and KSD are still shifted to the upside here so the daily is still looking very good and uh, stochastic is coming down here after being overbought so it is good that we have a little cool off here potentially to test this $10,600 area and then have a big bounce from it. 
but if this $10,500 getting lost then be prepared to see again 10k and possibly even drop lower towards $9,200 and we can also have a look into the DXY in the daily because currently the DXY is testing here the 50 level in the RSI and you can clearly see that we have a support line here in the RSI and if this is getting broken to the upside so if the DXY is successfully breaking here the 20 and 50 daily moving average here at 93.50 and also close a daily candle above then be prepared for a major crash in the stock and Bitcoin price because in that case most likely we're gonna shoot here to the upside and potentially test here this $96 even up to $97 area before maybe we continue to crash here in the DXY why and this will be very catastrophe for the bitcoin and the stock market prices because in that case we're gonna see a major dump maybe similar like we had in march let's hope it's not gonna be the case but this is still in the cards based on the price action that we're seeing currently on the dxy and we can also have a final look in the weekly time frame here in the bitcoin price because after bouncing here from the 20 weekly moving average there is also high chance that we all retrace back down here towards the 20 weekly again maybe even retest it or even week below before we continue to the upside but since we are bouncing here from the 20 weekly moving average the weekly is still looking very bullish we are still trading on the upper area here we didn't drop below the 50 level in the rsi and this is why the weekly is still looking very very bullish and if we open up the Bollinger Band, you can see that we are still trapped here between these two moving averages here. So yesterday we had a close below the $11,000 and that's why I'm telling you most likely because of this bearish close here, at least here for the short to mid term, we're gonna see a possible retracement back down to the middle line at $10,200. And if the 10K is gonna break here, then be prepared to see the price drop lower than 10K possibly towards $9,200, worst case $7,200. But based here in the Bollinger Band, it looks like that the weekly bottom would be here at $8,200. So that's why my friends, I'm telling you, if you want to buy cheap Bitcoin, probably for the last time, between $9,200, even down to $8,200 or $7,200 will be the last opportunity. Don't wait for 1K, 2K, 3K, this will never happen again in my opinion. And this is most likely the last opportunity to buy really cheap Bitcoin before the next parabolic run. All right, guys, and with that said, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. I want to thank you again for all your supports during the last two years and also a big shout out to the big, great community that we have over on Discord. So shout out to you, my friends. Thank you very much again for all your great support and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.